it is loading but it doesn't say live now it is hey everybody it's margaret welcome to my channel texas gal treasures and in today's video we are going to be talking about sales finally i have a sales update video for you guys so i am going to share with you some of the sales that i have made recently on ebay and etsy i'm not really going to share my poshmark sales of course a phone call starts coming in right as i go live um, yeah, because Poshmark is not really, I mean, I've sold a couple things here and there, but it's mostly been mystery boxes. I think it's only been mystery boxes now that I think of it. So, um, also I'm not, I'm not pulling up stuff that I've sold like from videos and things like that. This is just from online and now I've lost my chat. Where are you chat? Hello. Hi, there it is. Hi, Cheryl and Dale. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming to hang out. Okay. So I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to talk to you about what has sold. I'm going to talk to you about where I got it, um, how much I paid for it, and, you know, what it sold for. So, like, kind of what my profit's going to be. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what to look for when you're out there and, like, what kind of prices might be fair to pick it up for and sell it for and things like that. Okay. So, I know. I, oh, I actually am selling stuff. No way. Yes. Um, so I'm talking in the chat. You guys can't see that. Or maybe you can on the side. I'll pull it down for now. There we go. Um, yeah. What was I going to say, though? I was going to say something else, and then I got distracted. But okay, we'll just go with it. So let me pull up. I have my, I have so many windows open right now. So do do do. Oh, oh I remember what I was going to tell you. Um, before we get started, can you go over there, um, one, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. Also, if you're wanting to learn more about jewelry or just thrifting in general, I have two amazing groups on Facebook. One is Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, where if you have questions about jewelry or, you know, we talk about jewelry a lot over there, do tutorials and things. So go join Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. And then International League of Thrifters is our other thrifting group. Um, so that that's another place to go if you're just generally wanting to find out more about reselling and thrifting and things like that. It's they're both safe places. Nobody's supposed to be being ugly or rude or whatever. And if they are, let us know because we'll take care of it. Totally. Okay. Hey everybody. Thanks in the chat. And also I shared on on um, on my group. But if you have a group or a place you'd like to share, then hey, go for it. Let's do this now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, do you guys remember um, not long ago I bought a lot of jewelry from uh, somebody in our jewelry group. It was like 500 bucks. I never actually finished showing you all of it, but um, there was a big box full of rings. And this is one of the rings that was in that lot that I spent 500 bucks on. So, ever, I mean, there was so much stuff in the lot that it was probably less, way less than a dollar. Um, <laughs> Thrift shop has like there's no safe space for you. Sorry. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, this ring was something that was in that lot. So I, I mean, there was easily 500 pieces in the lot or more. I can't even, I couldn't even tell you how many. It was so much. So I'm, I just am saying basically this was a dollar. Um, it was a silver um, Indian head style ring. And I took a best offer of, for $50 on this. I think I probably could have held out for more, um, but $50 sounded really good, and I wanted to sell it for that. Um, it was pretty primitive, like the style of some of the stamping was kind of primitive, but it, it was a really cool ring. It was really unique, and generally when I price things that are um, kind of high this way, it's because I can't find anything else like it, so I generally put a big price on things um, if I don't if I don't see anything just like it out there or it's unique or something like that because there's somebody who collects this style or this type of ring and they're willing to pay a little bit more so um, anyway so I put a big price on it you can't get a big price if you don't ask for one right okay hello hello yeah I still have a ginormous tub that I didn't even get to finish showing you guys from that haul Okay, so there's that. Okay, next up, I think I have everything. Oh, don't tell me I have to reload it. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I had everything already. Okay, so this is another piece that just sold recently. I don't think I've even shipped this. No, no, I did ship this one out. <laughs> this one went out. It's the ring that just sold, so I haven't shipped that one out yet. Um, so this is like a stretchy bracelet. I don't sell a ton of, you know, or even list a lot of the stretchy ones, but I thought this one was kind of nice. It has, um, like, coral chips and... Um, 
excuse me, um, turquoise chips, and just kind of on a stretchy bracelet. And I think I did, I think I took a best offer of 20 bucks on this. Yeah, I took a, a best offer of $20 on that, which I think is really good for a stretchy bracelet. Um, but you know, rodeo season, so hey, let's do it. And I spent, so this is my inventory net where I keep track of what I spent and when I listed it. So like this is my list date, Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, but this is how I can remember and that way I've got it all in there. Um, so I listed it on this date and then this is the 99p is like 99 cents. So 99p means I spent 99 cents on it. So there is that. So that's a $20. So probably with shipping and fees and everything like that, um, it's at least a $15 or so profit. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. And on this one, I didn't really say what my profit was. Pro but I mean, for a buck, I'm kind of guesstimating in my head with fees and everything, like probably $40 profit. Um, so something around that range. Okay. Thanks for coming to hang out live. Y'all say hey in the chat. Here, let me move this chat up a little bit so I can see everybody. Hi, hi. Just like that. There we go. Okay. Hi, Mary. Thanks for coming. Oh, let me say hey to everybody while I'm at it. Hey, Puppies Breath and Forever Luzon and Cheryl and Dale. Hello, Shelby and KMV, uh, KM Vintage and Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> hi, Martha and Hussein. How, hi, Di Diane. Say hi to Diane. Nope. Hi, Diane and Tracy. And Chris is there and Puppy Breath. Brandy and Mary, and hello. Yeah, definitely rodeo season, so yeah. Well, you know what, that's a good question. Um, Chris asked if we can sell jewelry in the group. I have another group um, that is called Texas Gals Treasure Traders. So in, in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, it's not a selling group, but we have Texas Gals Treasure Traders where you can um, share things, you know, for sale, and you can also, uh, like, post listings and things like that. I think there's a limit on it. Um, I have to ask my other admins because they're really good at organizing that because my homeschool? That's my excuse for everything when I'm, <laughs> and that's why I can't do it at homeschool. Is that a good excuse? Maybe. <laughs> it's hard for me to get, get to everything. Okay. Um, hello, Sandra. Hi, sweet Susie and Rags and that sassy hello. Oh, have you really? Oh my gosh, Chris. 12 gallon tub full now. Just talk to me. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Put me. Anyway, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, it's a sickness. It's a sickness. Anyway, I can't stop. All right, so this next one is a really pretty close a bracelet. I'm trying to make sure that I don't have. There we go. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I don't have my seller's information listed there. No, okay. Um, so it's a close and eye bracelet with some little lapis beads with it. Um, and this sold for $15. I took a best offer on that. Um, so, and then I paid, let's see. Oh, look, this is one that I've had for a little while. Some of my older ones I don't have the inventory note on. However, I don't feel like I've had it for that long. I feel like this was in that lot. It's so weird. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this was in that lot that I just got. So for now, we'll say it was a dollar. So I think with shipping and fees and all that stuff, it'll probably end up being about a $10 profit. So that's, again, pretty good. All right, next item. Are we loading? Oh, 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 these ones I just listed. These are some green Rivoli cufflinks. And these ones I took a best offer of $22 on, so I thought that was pretty cool. I did just recently list these. It's funny how they don't sell until you list them, right? Um, and I can't remember what I got them for because I've had them in my inventory unlisted. But they listed very very fast after I, or they sold very quickly after, I, after that. Oh, cool, cool rags. Um, and this is one that I did end up putting a video in. I don't put a video in all my jewelry listings, but I just really wanted to capture, you know, the the stone and how it like shimmered and moved and stuff like that. So I did end up putting, you know, like a, a little video clip in there. And I have another video showing you how to do that if you're ever interested. I'll have to see if I can find the link for that. Anyway, so that's sold. And I would say I, pro I don't normally spend more than a, a dollar or two um, on cufflinks and stuff like that. However, Rivoli ones, I tend to, to buy a little, I'll spend a little bit more on them because I know they'll sell. So probably after shipping and fees and all that, it's probably going to be at least a $15 profit on the cufflinks there. Hi, Tess. How's it going? Hello. Hello, Patricia. 
Yeah, super cool. Those are, I love those. Okay, then the next ones are some earrings. Wait, I have too many links open here. Let me get a sip of water. These ones I just got at Savers, and I actually did pay up for them. And the reason I did, um, one, it, this is probably one of those buy this, not that videos that I did. They looked like really good quality, and they were um, Kenneth J. Lane, and I'm not, oh, oh, I remember now. So when I saw the, the marking, KJL, sometimes when I see things that are marked, but I'm not sure what they are, and they look like really good quality, I take a chance on them. Um, so I did pay up for these. I think I spent maybe even five bucks on them. Yeah, I did five dollars on these ones, because I was like, I... I'm taking a chance. I don't know that that maker's mark right off the top of my head, but they looked really nice. They were well made. They were marked. Um, and so I did. And then I took a best offer of 20 bucks. So still like five bucks may have been a lot to pay for them, but also the, the education that I got, I have to count that. Like I really do. I don't know if you guys do, but I count the, the, the education that I get, quote, education, that I get from picking up things, you know, because that's how you learn. Sometimes you just have to take a chance and pick it up and go, and go with it and try it out. Okay, um, good question. Does jewelry sell better on eBay or Etsy? Lately I've been doing better on Etsy. However, I just sold that on eBay, so <laughs> the, um, the ring sold today on eBay. But lately my sales have been better on Etsy. But I think it's because algorithms or, or little, algorithms are different. I haven't been listing a lot right now, so it's kind of just like what's up there is up there. Um, but but it's fun. It is true. Like the, the more I list, the more like things do sell better. Funny how that works, right? Okay, then so I told you what this sold for and what I paid for it. Good. Okay, we're still on Etsy now, y'all. This next one, oh my gosh, talk about a lifey. This doodad. I've had listed forever, and there's actually two things that I'm going to share with you guys, share with you guys that I almost pulled down because I've had them listed so long, and I was just like, oh, forget it. I'll just relist it. It's fine. Whatever. I don't even. I think I may have gotten this in a lot, like a bagged lot of a whole bunch of like cufflinks and tie tacks and tie bars and stuff. Boy, this thing finally sold. Okay, so did you ever have that item where you're just like, thank. Goodness, I'm so sick of looking at this thing in my shop. I was about to pull it out and it, yeah. But it sold for 10 bucks with all of the fees and with all of the times I've relisted it on Etsy and on eBay. I probably made nothing, honestly, <laughs> because of that. But, um, but it's gone now. So anyway, that's good. Am I on, um, I am on Poshmark and... I've so, I mean, I've just sold some lot, like lots, mystery lots there, but I don't do all the, the sharing, and so I just don't have time. So I don't know if that's affecting, like, that I don't get a whole lot of sales over there, but it's up there. It's cool, whatever. Um, yeah, I reopened it. Um, Rags is asking if I closed my eBay store. I did, I, I did, and then I reopened it. Was it in January? I decided to go back because I needed money. <laughs> That's why. Oh, I hear it happened. Um, yeah, I need the money. So, hi, Twin Red Red Dragons. Hello, hello. Um, and if I didn't get to say hey to you in the chat, sorry, I missed you. Um, say hey again. This must be another oldie. Oh, yeah, even the pictures look like old. These are another pair of earrings that, like, I've had forever, and I'm glad they sold. I actually took a best offer of 8 bucks on these. Whoosh, out the door again. I'd probably, you know, it's probably a dollar or less on these. I'm just glad they're gone. I'm sick of looking at them and the pictures are not great. And it was like, do I go back and retake pictures for a $10 item? Or do I just move on and take pictures of my new stuff? Yeah. All right. So that's old. Okay. So this was a really cute brooch that, that sold. I was so happy to see it, it sold. It reminds me of, like, yeah, Macintosh. Like a Macintosh um, rose, so it's like this round, rolled up, sort of um, art deco kind of style, you know, if you know what I'm talking about with the Macintosh roses. But this ended up selling, I took a best offer of 10 bucks on this. And let's see if I have my inventory note on here. Nope. Um, but I would guess I probably paid 50 cents to a dollar for that. So, I mean, it's probably about an $8 profit for me on that one. So, 
Are you listing jewelry, Chris? Oh, good, good. <laughs> Most, I think all of my sales are. This is another one that, that finally sold. A vintage Cadoro gold tone rope bow brooch. And it was fairly sizely, sizely. It was a sizely kind of brooch. I don't have my picture. Shame on me. I try to make sure I get a picture in there with the ruler so you can really gauge the size of it. Um, so it must have been an older, an older listing too. Because, yeah, I like to make sure I get a, a picture of the item, right, you know, lined up with a ruler or something like that. So this one I took a best offer of 13 bucks on as well. Again, it's been there for a little bit. And then this must be another one. Oh, yeah. Y'all, good riddance to some of this stuff that's been here forever. I mean, this was just like a teensy little tie tack, just a little black faceted stone. Oh, my goodness. But um, it finally sold again for <laughs> it sold for ten dollars. You know, every little sale, right? <laughs> it all adds up. But it's been up there for a while. So let's take a peek at Etsy and see what we can see. Okay, that's my Etsy song. <laughs> so this is a now. This has been up for a while too because I don't do free shipping on Etsy anymore. I took it off of a lot of stuff. Do, do, do. I may have even taken it off of this one. Okay. Um, anyway, that's interesting. Okay, because I thought I'd taken it off on all of them. But So this ended up selling for, hang on, I think that is with, pardon me, I thought I had it all pulled up just right. I can't tell if, because I think they paid shipping, so I may have to go and reimburse them that. Because I just want to be fair, you know what I mean? Yeah, this sold for $14.99. And it's been uh, up for a little while, so I can't remember exactly what I got it for. It's been there. Um, yeah, Dan's asking, why do you relist stuff so many times if not if it's not selling rather than once or twice, then lotting it up? I mean, that's an option, um, but honestly, I don't, I don't really do that. <laughs> I don't have. I think I feel like I don't have time to do it because I'm like, it's already up there. I'll just leave it. And then I don't sell a ton of lots. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, Jeanette says, I found a couple belt buckles. How do you do for those? Um, I've sold a few belt buckles. I don't sell a whole lot of them. But if they're pretty unique, then I'll, I'll go with it. Um, okay, where's next? And maybe it's just my thought process. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, this was also in that lot that, of the $500... Um, lot that I got. Hang on. Let me get over here. Do, do, do. Are you listing? Okay, Patricia, I missed your question. Sorry. Are you listing on eBay as buy it now or as an auction? I do buy it now. Um, and then I have best offer on all my stuff and I charge shipping. So yeah, I don't, I don't normally do auctions. I just don't. <laughs> okay. Um, so first up, oh, I got my stuff out of order. Darn it. All right, so this bracelet, this is a Douglas, and I'm going to say his name wrong, and you'll just have to forgive me, hopefully. Douglas et C City, I don't want to say it wrong, because <laughs> I got, yeah, anyway. So this is a, a Navajo sign bracelet, so it's a Native American artist, and you have to be really careful, like, with that, because it has to be, you know, it has to be legit, it has to be an actual Native American designer, um, so showed all the flaws and stuff like that. Any guesses? I shared this on, I think, on Instagram when I sold. Um, but this was in that $500 lot, so probably paid about a buck for it. And it ended up selling, hang on, ah, I'm showing it with shipping over here. It ended up selling for $134.99. So $135, bucks, you all Let me just let that sink in for just a second here. So this was in that $500 lot. And it's paid for more than a fifth of the whole lot. So, and then with that ring that sold for 50 bucks, I mean, that's probably like two, yeah, two fifths of the whole lot um, out, off two pieces. So, yay. Um, so 135 on that one. And then this was another one that was also in that lot. Um, it's another Native American sign. This one is a Zuni um, style or Zuni. You know, she's in the American tribe. And then it is a signed piece. So you there are lots of websites where you can look up the signed, you know, what the signatures are. 
And then this one sold for, uh, that's what the shipping, so $75. So $74.99 for this Zuni bracelet. So, I mean, that's almost half with every, you know, there's probably another piece here. So on just like a handful of pieces out of that lot to pay for half of it already. And I know I've sold some things privately, you know, like when I shared the haul video, I had some people message me and say, you know, I'd like that ring or want that, whatever. So it's likely that I've already made my money back on all of the, the pieces. So I'm very grateful. Okay, so this is another sale that I made. This was the um, lot, just like a D-stash, kind of like mystery box that I sold. That one sold for, I think it was 35 bucks and $5 shipping. Let me see what I have over here. Oh, I thought I had it up just right, but yeah, $32.99. Yeah, hang on. What's going on over here? Do they, st oh, 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 is that for the um, auction? Oh, you were guessing, <laughs> sorry. Oh yeah, see you, Chris. And okay, yeah, it totally was. And I was really biting my nails when I, when I was like, do I wanna do this? It's a lot, 500 bucks, but it's been worth it. Um, so another one, this one sold for $32.99. My medium boxes, that one sold for, I think, 25 bucks. I had it pulled up, but of course, $21.99. There we go, $21.99 on that. And these are just like random things. I try to make sure it's not broken or anything like that when it goes in there. So just a mystery box. Okay, and then this just sold recently. I know I shared this. Um, and this was also in that $500 lot. Let's see. Make sure I'm telling you right. Yeah. So this was also in that $500 lot. And this is that Cinnabar and Closinet bracelet. And I ended up doing, you know, really did a bit, bunch of research on Closinet. Did a whole video um, just to make sure because you don't want to list something as, not Closinet, but Cinnabar. Um, as Cinnabar, if it's not. So I really, really, really wanted to make sure that I was accurately describing. I know people will probably say Cinnabar anyway. But I wanted to make sure, so I did. And did I put a video in there? No. Okay. But I put how I tested it, you know, tested with acetone, da 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 da. Got really good close up so you can see the carvings. You can see the layers. Because if you didn't see that video, Cinnabar is like lacquer and it's layer, like painted and dried, painted and dried, painted. So you should be able to see the layers of the lacquer once they carve down into the, the piece. Um, so I made sure I got the um, images where you could see the layers, where you could, you know, and I think I even have a picture of the acetone, yeah, the acetone testing, um, so that they could see that they were getting something, getting what they were paying for, basically. And this sold for, where'd you go? This one sold for, I don't want to tell you wrong, it sold for six, oh, they had a, a coupon code, yay. Um, so it sold for $55.24 because um, they had a coupon code. Because I send out a coupon code with my, my sales. So, cool. So it sold for $55. Hang on. I kept too many tabs open over here. Um, so that was another nice piece from the lot that ended up selling. Hello, Immortal Hourglass. Huh. Okay. Okay, then, um, this sold too just recently. This is a money clip that is, it's got like the Mayan or Aztec um, calendar. It's got some nice abalone. It's sterling silver. And this one sold for quite a bit too. This has been listed for a little while, but I'm fine with it because it definitely sold. It sold for $147.99. This is another one of those where it was like, where did you get that crazy price? And it was just like, I, um, I couldn't find anything just like it. And I knew somebody was going to really fall in love with it and want this something unique. And so I put a big price on it. So it's again, one of those, like you can't get a big price if you don't ask for a big price. And you can see it's got somewhere, it's got some age to it. Um, but yeah, so definitely worth waiting for the sold price on that. 
Yes, yes, acetone is the same as fingernail polish remover. Yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, no, yeah, I say, uh, Mary's asking, do I only sell pieces that are marked or do I sell pieces that the maker's not known? I sell, yeah, I sell ev everything, um, totally. And I did a video where I talk about um, how to sell pieces that are not marked because some, you know, a lot of times there are people are looking for a specific something, not necessarily, there are collectors for sure, but then there are people that are just like, I really want a pretty turquoise bracelet. But then somebody's like, I really love this Zuni designer, you know? So, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just make sure it doesn't say acetone free. Yeah. Okay. Then the next piece, this one I've had up for a little while, and this is an adjustable ring. There are adjustable rings that, you know, I'll sell, and then there are some that are like, nah, I won't sell. This one's a Sarah Coventry. Um, and it's really pretty, you know, it's got that kind of a Elizabethan style to it. So pretty. And this one sold for, I, ha I had these prices up and then I forgot that I had the uh, shipping right there with them. So and this one sold for $27.99. And I doubt that I've got the inventory note because this one I've had for, oh, I do. Oh, this was in, I thought this one is one that I've had for a long time. Oh my gosh. Okay. This was in that lot too, that 500. This is why we do this, people, because I will think I've had it forever. Um, <laughs> so yeah, good job, Margaret, putting in your inventory note. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, this was in that 500 piece, or that $500 lot. And yeah, so cool. And it sold, what did I say? $27.99. Um, ooh, Shelby, that's a good question. Veterans, VFW, tie tax bars, pins. Um, it kind of depends. Um, if they look like they're in good condition and they're unusual, then you might. It, like, here's the deal. Like, my dad, he was on the USS Hector. He was in the Navy. And he would want something that said, like, his ship's name, you know? Um... So it, it would kind of depend on that. If it just said, like, if it was just, like, a generic one, maybe. I don't know. You might, you might throw some up in the group and ask, like, here's a smattering of what I've got. Which ones do you think I should try to list by themselves? Which ones do you think I should try to lot up? Because I know Lynn is in there. She's really good with men's accessories. Um, and she's got a channel, too, called The Tie Chest, where she does a lot with men's accessories and stuff like that. So definitely. Oh, thank you, Immortal Hourglass. Um, do do do. Okay. I do rags. Um, you know what? I have I not done an, an updated video on how I take pictures. I'll have to look. I thought I've done an updated one. I've done a few different ones. I'll see if I um, cause I do. I'll look. Cause I think I've done an updated one where I use a little. I have a little pop up t uh, tent that I use. Yeah, I'll go look and see. I will, if you're, are you in the group, are you in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers? Because then I can go find it and drop the link over there. Because, and if I haven't, I'll have to update that. Because <laughs> I, yeah. Okay, next. Hello, Ruthie. This is the other one. I was telling you earlier that I was like, I almost didn't relist it. It's been up there forever. And I'm just sick of looking at it. The pictures are not that good. I probably should have pulled it down and retaken the pictures and all of that good stuff, but I just didn't. I mean, look at these horrible pictures. Maybe, well, this picture is really to show that it had some sort of, like, flaw and was repaired or something. I'm not even sure. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Anyway, bad pictures. And I doubt that I've got the inventory piece. Oh, cool, cool. I will definitely drop that link in there then. Um... Then, I'll get back to you, Mary. Hang on one second. This one ended up selling for, I think, about 30 something dollars. $32.99, yeah. So I ended up selling for a fair price, $32.99. I, I might have gotten it for a buck or two. Um, so probably, I mean, if I hadn't had it up there forever, I would say that it was probably like a 30 35 Wait, did I say it was sold for 32 that would be an interesting, uh, yeah, thirty nine. So probably, mm, probably about twenty eight bucks um, for profit. But then again, I have to take into account how long I've been listing it and relisting it. 
for 20 on Etsy it's 20 cents for every four months so it's really not that bad it's like a dollar a year get over it Margaret whatever <laughs> okay question in the chat was how do I pick my prices so what I do is I'll look up what I've got I'll Google I'll do a Google search and see what else is out there um, I'll see what kind of things are listed that are similar to what I've got or if it's exactly what I've got and then from there I'll also take a peek at um, eBay I'll look at eBay sold I look at what's on, up on Etsy like for sale um, and then a lot of times when you look on sorry that lights gonna bother it bothers me that it's shining in your eyes um, a lot of times when you when I do my Google search and I click on images so it just pulls up all the pictures of things that are similar when I click on let's say it's a dolphin ring when I click on the dolphin ring sometimes they pull up Etsy solds so I can take a peek at that or sometimes it's on PickLick or some other site where I can kinda of get a feel for and then I just like I look at all the prices and then I just like I get my magic eight, <laughs> my magic eight ball now I get my crystal ball and I'm just like that number and I usually go towards the higher range because I can always bring it down so that's what I do <laughs> yeah that's what I do um you tend to keep the best stuff how do you keep it um I keep I keep a lot I do um I do and I, I again I can't I wish I could remember who used the phrase first in the chat but they said it was like catch and release so like I'll catch it I'll keep it for a while and then when I'm done I'll release it into the wild yeah and sell it yeah I've had a lot yeah Etsy's been doing really well for me so okay I think I've got one more here for you guys so let's take a peek let's take a peeky loo okay we've got some cuff links so these cuff links they're really nice quality and these were ones let me show you what they sold for. Let me pull it up. So these sold for $34.99. I don't think these were marked from what I remember, but they looked like such nice quality. Like you see the lines on them. I mean, they just look like they were really, really, really well made. The stone looks beautiful. I mean, it's just like very flat, slick, black, glossy looking. I don't know. They were really nicely made. So I was kind of, I was, I'm always surprised when things that are really nicely, nicely made are not marked. So these ones I paid $6 for. Wow, that doesn't sound like me. But hey, maybe it's because I was learning. And they, but they sold fairly quickly for $35. Bucks, so minus six, let's say, hmm, I mean, maybe like a $25 profit or so on these cufflinks. So that's not bad. Maybe a little less, maybe 23 or something like that. Okay, so those are some good sales that I've had. That light, sorry y'all. Um, and I have sold some other things like from haul videos. Like sometimes I'll do a thread up and things will sell from those. And yeah, so those are some of the sales. Um, let me know in the description or the, not the description, the comments, like what's a good sale you've had? Have you dived into selling jewelry yet? If not, what's keeping you? And make sure you go over, follow me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures. And join Texas Gal's Jewelry Lovers where we where we share lots of things, and I like to call it the best darn jewelry group on Facebook. So, yeah. Um, have a great weekend, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. I'm going to go drop that link for the photographs in the group after this. So, oh boy, hang on. I do this. Because when I do the OBS system, I can never figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> okay, hang on. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Thanks so much for coming, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Yes, I'm just, yeah.